Now in part B, we're asked to integrate from 1 to 2 the fraction that we had up here. And so clearly, putting it in partial fractions helps us to do the integral. So I'm just going to write those partial fractions in. We're integrating them from 1 to 2. And we saw that this reduced down to a, which was 2. So I'll put that in. And then b over 2x plus 1. And b was the minus 2. So it's minus 2 over 2x plus 1. And then plus c over 2x minus 1. And c was 2. So that's going to be plus 2 over 2x minus 1. We have several terms here, so don't forget to put that in brackets over the integral. And it's integrated with respect to x. So we'll just move this up. And that will give us room to do the integral. So we should be able to recognize that we can integrate each of these terms. So integrating 2 with respect to x is going to be 2x. And this particular term, notice it's a fraction that when you differentiate the denominator, you get the numerator. Differentiating 2x plus 1 gives 2, and that's in the numerator, so it is a natural log type. So that is minus the natural log of the mod, and don't forget to write the mod, 2x plus 1. Similarly, when we come to this term, when you differentiate the denominator, you get 2. That's sitting in the numerator here, so this 2 is a natural log type, and the answer would be the natural log, again, of the mod of 2x minus 1. We don't have to put a constant because this is a definite integral with limits here, so we put this in square brackets going from 1 to 2. So all that's left to do now is just substitute 2 in for x and then subtract what we have when we put the 1 through. So putting the 2 through gives 2 by 2 is 4. Then we have minus natural log of 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. So that's the natural log of 5. We don't need the mod anymore because this is a positive value. Put the 2 in again. So 2 twos are 4, minus 1 is 3. So that's plus the natural log of 3. And again, we don't need mods on that because it is a positive value. Then we have minus, and we've got to put the 1 through. So put a bracket round here because the minus is going to override several of these terms. 2 times 1 then is 2. Put the 1 through here and you have 2 plus 1 is 3, so minus the natural log of 3. Again, no mods around this because it's positive. And then 2 times 1, which is 2, take away 1 is 1. So you have the natural log of 1. And you should know the natural log of 1 is in fact 0. So I'm just going to leave that off. OK? So, removing the brackets here, we have 4 minus the natural log of 5, plus the natural log of 3, minus 2, and then minus minus natural log of 3, which is plus the natural log of 3. And tidying this up further, we have 4 take away the 2, which is 2. And grouping up the natural logs, we have the natural log of 3 plus the natural log of 3. Now, you remember your natural log rules. This is the same as the natural log of 3 times 3, OK, when you combine them. So that would be the natural log of 3 times 3. And when you subtract a log, OK, that is the same as dividing. So that's over 5. Cleaning this up, you have 2 plus the natural log then of 9 over 5. And they said that this had to be written, the answer to this integral that is, had to be written in the form 2 plus the natural log of a constant k. And we had to say what the constant k was. Well, comparing this with the above, so I'll say that this is identical to the above, 
where k is clearly the 9 over 5, 9 fifths. 